and then we'll come over here. Oh, this is the leaf. And again, we're going to do just what it says here. First, select your pen tool. Then it says option drag or from the anchor point to the red. And all I need to use is my my uh, option key. I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to click and drag to the red and then drag from the anchor point to the red. Click and drag down to the red. Now you notice how it didn't go as far as I want so I go to my direct selection tool and I just pull this handle up and that way you can play around with the angles and the curves by just playing around with the anchor points. So that was pretty easy. Again, do these over and over until you just get the feel of the, the pen tool. Like anything else, it takes practice. Now this is the pair and this looks difficult but it's really very easy if you just follow around with the directions A, B, C, and D. So again, we're going to start with the pen tool and A, drag from anchor point to red dot. So here's your anchor point here. So click and drag. Now before we do that, I want you to notice, you notice how my pen tool has an X? That means that I can start brand new. I'm going to start a brand new path. And that's on one of the PDFs that I've given you to look over on the pen tool. So I'm on this little red, um, this little anchor point, and I'm going to click and hold my pen, my mouse down, and drag it to the red. And then I go to B, drag to red. So I'm going to click on the anchor point and drag to the red. And then it wants me to click on the yellow and drag that red dot to the gold dot. So I'm here, right here on the red, and I'm going to hold my option key down, and you notice how it turns into the convert. So click and drag, swing it around to the yellow. Okay, now we're going to go to back to C, the anchor point. So we're going to click and drag to the red, hold your mouse right there, hold your option key down and click and drag around to the yellow. Release your anchor point, release the option. Okay, take your pen tool and click and drag to the red. Release your mouse, hold the option key down and click and drag to the gold. Release your mouse and release the option key. Now for the E, we're going to just drag to the red. And that's just, we're going to curve, just make curves all the way around to the end of the pair. So click and drag to the red. Go to the next anchor point, click and drag to the red. You notice how the different curves depends on how, how, um, long you drag your anchor your pen tool so now I'm going to come over here to this anchor point click and drag down to the red go to H click and drag down to the red go to I click and drag down to the red go to J click and drag down or up to the red and here to close it you'll notice how the anchor point when I put my pen over the anchor point it turns to a little zero on the side that means you're closing a path the X means you're starting a path this zero means you're closing a path and I'm going to hold my option key down as I click and drag to the gold and there you have it you have your pen so let's zoom out here and while we have this pen it's selected and I'm going to bring out my swatches palette and if I select something in here, you can see I'm just, this is selected, and I'm just changing the color. I'll go back to white. I'll turn off this template, and you turn layers on and off just like in Photoshop. I 
clicking on the eye so that template's gone. And now um, I'm going to deselect, deselect the pair. And when I deselect it, notice how I can click over here on my swatches palette, and but nothing happens. I can see it on my tools palette. You'll notice that the fill is pink and the stroke is black. So if I wanted the fill to be none, I could click down here. If I want the stroke to be none, I have to select the stroke and make it none. Now I want to have um, nothing happen to the pair. Whatever you want to change colors of the fill or the stroke, the selection must be selected. So I'll select this and now I can go to my stroke and the none. Now you don't see anything. And I'm going to go to my fill and here I have a gradient and I can fill it with that. So that's how you fill a shape. Now the main point of this movie is for, your, for using the pen tool. So I just wanted to show you that's how you fill a shape and you can see those in the lynda.com movies. So that's it in a nutshell and let's see I'll turn this back on. So use this exercise to practice working with the pen tool. As I say you do this, these exercises a couple of times and you should have this down pat. So we'll go on to the next exercise which is shapes and paths.